When is a drink that tastes like a bourbon, looks like a bourbon, and acts like a bourbon not a bourbon? When it's a vodka. That's right. We're about to introduce you to a vodka that's crafted to imitate a bourbon. Why, you ask? Well, here to explain is Market Watch's Charles Passy with the weekend sip. Charles, lovely to see you. What have you brought with you this fine Friday? Oak by absolute. And, and why, you ask? That's, that is the question. It, it is a bit of a riddle. I mean, this is one of the more bizarre bottles I've run across. And I run across a lot of bizarre bottles. Um, uh, this is a very different concept. It is a, an aged vodka. An I mean, aged vodka. We age whiskey. We do not age vodka. Um, and essentially, um, I mean, it is not, they are not calling it a bourbon flavored vodka. That is something that I've kind of appended to this. Sure. But it, 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 it basically mimics the idea of a vodka, uh, of a bourbon. I mean, even to some extent of a, of a scotch, but I think it's a little closer in flavor to a bourbon um, because like a bourbon, it is it is aged in, in oak barrels. Well, there seems to be no end for of the ideas of, for vodka flavor drinks. Correct? Absolutely. I mean, we, we have uh, we have pumpkin spice flavored vodka. We have birthday cake flavored vodka. We have <laughs> sriracha flavored vodka. I mean, the flavored category has been just a never ending stream. Um, it has been somewhat of a, on the downward slide sales wise. I mean, there's a sense that they're sort of running out of steam. Frankly, there's also been a sense that vodka, which was kind of the go to category uh, for the boom, boom 90s. And then even in the aughts, I mean, this was kind of the sex in the city uh, sure. craze, the Cosmo. Um, brown spirits, whiskey has really kind of sort of taken a little bit of the edge off of vodka. And in some ways, taken a little bit of the edge off of a brand like Absolute. Absolute is one of the huge, huge brands in the vodka world. And, and they have to find ways to reclaim some of that market share. And this is one of the innovations that they believe may be the way to do Very just that. Very interesting. So why are they saying that we would want to drink this rather than a bourbon. Uh, right. Well, I will say that there, I, I think a couple of things. One is, I mean, I wouldn't say that they're saying this, but I think that this is, could be something of a gateway for, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. people who may not really like, I mean, bourbon is heavy, fiery. I mean, even, even though it has a sweetness to it, non-whiskey drinkers often find bourbon, any whiskey, a little off-putting. This is a little bit smoother, a little bit easier. It is a vodka. Right. Um, right. The other thing is that it, it, I will say it works very well in cocktails. It imparts that whiskey flavor, but in a much easier to deliver right, package. Well, let's so let's, let's, let's try. Let's give it a try. Okay. Cheers. We, we have it uh, just on the rocks. This right is just now. on the rocks. Right. Okay. okay. You're right. It is smoother and lighter right. than an actual bourbon. Right. So for those of us who are not used to maybe downing bourbons, this is a little bit of a gateway. You're right, absolutely right, right. Right, right, right. Now, how do they recommend drinking it? Well, I mean, they actually really don't. We are trying it on the rocks. They say you yeah. could have fun. You could try it neat. You could do it in shots. But right. they actually do recommend it in cocktails. I tried I it in what they call nice. an oak in Coke. Yeah. Just putting this in Coca-Cola. It is brilliant. I like an you know, oak and coke. It, it, that it, sounds it, good. It is, like, it is like a smoky Coca-Cola. I it might is, go it, grab a can you know, of coke it, after it, this. It, it does very well on that. You could try it in a Moscow Mule, which is a classic vodka cocktail. Right. I, I didn't like that as much, but I thought it was interesting. Um, so I do, have some fun. Know, so you can have some fun. I mean, you can play around with this. I think that this is going to give mixologists a lot to work with. I would definitely say if you buy a bottle of this, it is in very, it's in, it's in just a few select markets right now. But if you do buy a bottle of this, try it straight just for the hell of it, I Why would say. Why not? So, all right. All right. Absolutely. Thank you Cheers. so much, Cheers. Have a good Charles. weekend. You all too. right.